tranquilizers only. There I was, recording data from the XG-12 electron microscope, when who should stroll up and interrupt me? That know-it-all Henry Walker from Sector B. Hmm. He immediately starts criticizing my resolution settings. Honestly, uh -huh. that man couldn't tell a quantum field from a hay field. Why the administrator can't hire mm -hmm. better Hey Gordon, how's it going? We haven't seen you all day. You missed all the proceedings, including a couple of good presentations on Zen Exobiology. Some of the recent findings would have impressed even the great Dr. Newell. Ah, yes, Dr. Newell, another meddler. Come to think of it, he was absent from the conferences, too. What's he up to, anyway, Gordon? Rumor has it you were tied up with him in administration all day today. What's the news? Sorry, Albert, but there really isn't much I can say about Dr. Newell, other than he'll be thoroughly absorbed in his work for some time now. I doubt that he'll be getting in your hair anytime soon. Well, whatever. As long as he stays absorbed, I'll be left with just Henry around to harass me. Anyway, I'd better go check on my cellular sequencing progress. See you later. Alright, Albert. Come on, Gordon. Let me get you a drink, and then we can... Code red alarm. Intruder detected. Security status. Victor. No? What? Did you understand that last announcement? No, Albert, but I think we'd better get out of here now. Absolutely. Let's go to the security station and then... Commander! Here's three more! Alright, all of you. Down the hallway now! Move it! Who are you? And what is the meaning of it? Shut up! Move your asses! Take these three to the lobby and hold them there until further orders. Acknowledged! Walter and I have everything under control. Gordon, listen, we have to try and get out of here. I agree, but we need a way to overwhelm the guards. Yes, and I have an idea. When these thugs rounded us up, they left my office door open. Under my desk is a personal defense against futures and incidents. Good. What is it? A clock or a 357? Uh, neither. It's a small hatchet. It's the best I could do since we scientists aren't allowed personal firearms. A hatchet? Come on, Walter. What good is a hatchet against shotguns? Hold on, Gordon. Let me finish. You can use it to break the closet in the seminar room. There should be an emergency pass in there. Okay, and then what? Use it to access the security station above. Shut down the security lockout and grab the emergency weapons. Albert and I will stick with the guards until you return to keep their suspicions off of us. Hmm. Sounds too risky. They're armed and we have no idea who they are or what they're up to. Trust me, Gordon. These thugs are only interested in theft, not us. I can't elaborate now, but I believe their invasion is connected to Dr. Newell's secrecy. Newell again, huh? 
All right then, let's do it. You and Albert, be careful. Primary security system deactivated. Perimeter lockout disengaged.
Down here. Are you all right? I'm fine, Gordon. Just trying to stop these wackos from taking everything. Who are they? Do you know? Not for certain, Oscar, but I have a pretty good idea. They smashed their way in here, grabbing everything. I blew the tank wall and managed to lock down the main lift, and then hid here. Oh, yeah, and I released all the remaining living zombies, too. That should have finished them off. It did the trick, Oscar. Now I need you to remove your security lockout to re-enable the lift system. It's our only way out of here. Right, Gordon. I'll remove the lockout. I suggest you make your way out by the transit tunnel. But I'm going to stay here until you or somebody else comes back and tells me this is over. right now, Gordon. You'd better get going. Stop asking! I'm not going with you! Stop asking! I'm not going with you!
signed up for to be a petty thief. Just grab that gizmo and get the cart and stop your fishing. We're getting paid pretty damn well for being petty thieves. Yeah, but wasting these wimpy lab coats is no challenge at all. I want some action. Keep talking like that and you might get what you wish for. Come on, let's go.
Alive. Where's Walker? And where are Dabra? Have you seen them? I'm sorry, Sanjay, but he didn't make it. Those bastards killed him in cold blood. Oh no! It is worse than I thought. This situation is degrading rapidly. Situation? What do you mean? What do you know about these mercenaries? I... Last month, I discovered several suspicious injuries in Dr. Newell's data archives. I confronted him, and he threatened me with expulsion from Black Mesa. If I mention what I found to anyone. What did you find? I pieced together that Newell was working on a horrible secret project. 
to combine human and X in genetics into some sort of ghastly aberration. In spite of Newell's threats, I discussed this with Walter. He had suspicions too, that Newell was up to something. Yes, I've had first-hand experiences with his aberrations, but how does his invasion fit into his work? I don't know for certain. Walter believed that Newell's work was for some sort of agency outside of Black Mesa. Walter thought it was inside espionage, and now he's dead. What should we do, Gordon? We need to get out of here, now. This area is crawling with troops. Have you tried to summon a transit car? Yes, but to no avail. Since you are armed, you the chance to lower the caverns to get out. If you recall, that area is still heavily infested. If we make it through to the Artagon, perhaps Luke is still alive there. If anyone can help us stop these criminals, it is he. Okay, let's go. I'll take point and you stay close behind, if you hear anything.
wish you're still alive. I was about to give up hope. Are you okay? Yeah, Lucas, I'm alright. It took me a while to get over here, but I've learned a thing or two about the situation along the way. Good. Then perhaps you can fill in the blanks on information. Ethan and I have been piecing together the chain of events from here since shortly after the Schwarzgeist invaded. Schwarzgeist? Is that who these soldiers are? No. They appear to be no more than just mercenaries. I buy them to do their dirty work. Are they a terrorist group then? We... we don't think so, no. Our info on these survived guys at the moment is incomplete. Walter Guthrie, Sanjay Kumar, and I were working under administrative directive to find out more about Zim. Starting with Dr. Newell. Then Newell was part of their organization. That would explain his covered actions. Yes, Gordon. Newell was one of them, along with many of the brightest innovators from the pharmacological and bioengineering industries. Reclusive individuals who made fortunes starting their own companies, then disappearing from public view. Hmm. The soldiers. These so-called mercenaries. Everywhere I saw them taking computers, records and such. Ah. That explains a lot, sir. The so guys must have decided the time was right to invade Black Mesa and take by force Dr. Newell's work and the rest of technology we've extracted from the Exxon universe. I'm sorry to tell you this, Lucas, but I've also killed anyone who got in their way, including Walter and Sanjay. I know. Good. We found out through the security network. Walter was a great innovator. And a genuine friend, too. But trust me, we will stop them. Damn right. Just let me recharge, gear up, and I'm I'll... sorry to interrupt, but we've got a new problem now. I'm picking up intruders in the central core. They're breaking through the primary entrance. The core contains the most highly sensitive information we discovered from exit. If they gain access, they will have stolen everything we have. Can you stop them from here, Ethan? No, the main security defenses are down. I've just lost the visual feed too. Like I said, I'll recharge, gear up, and then get going to the core. Okay, good. The army's up ahead. Get ready quickly, while Ethan activates the transit system to take you to the core. Be careful. Good luck, Gordon. Don't forget to reload your weapons. Ishan has calculated your route. Time to go. Good luck, Gordon. Don't forget to reload your weapons. I'll be right here, Gordon. How'd you like my shades? Hey, Joe. Glad to see you've survived this madness. Yeah, Gordon. It's, uh, good to see you, too. Wanna join me on this adventure into the computer core? I could use some backup. Uh, I really should stay here and, uh, help Lucas and Ethan. What's up? You usually don't shy away from adventure. Mm, yeah, but I'm sure I could do more from here. You'd better get going. Well, suit yourself. See you later. I need to stay here, Gordon. Don't forget to reload your weapons.
Well done, Gordon. The car secure for some moment, and possibly for good. Decent has determined the remaining Savagas troopers have abandoned Black Mesa. That's good news. Now we can start on recovery efforts. Not quite yet, unfortunately. We've got another major problem. Go ahead, Ethan. While you were engaging the forces in the core, a large number of troopers used the dimensional phase device in Sector D to teleport themselves to Space Station Libra. Huh? Space Station Libra? What the hell are you talking about? It is referred to as SSL for short. And it's no wonder you've never heard of it, Gordon. It's not widely known to exist. It's built on an asteroid in close orbit of a planet in Zen space named XP-21. We built the station and its associated space elevator to permit extraction of resources from the planet's surface. Why not just teleport samples from the planet, like we did everything else? The planet has an extremely strong magnetosphere that interferes with teleportation. We built the station because the planet's surface is rich in uranium fluoride crystals, which are needed to power the teleportation devices. Okay, so what's the problem with the Schwarzgeist inventing the station to? If they only took the crystals from the planet, that would be bad enough. However, the station was also home to the research team, working on the quantum molecular sequence device. Ah, the mysterious quantum device. It's been a rumor for some time. Can it really sequence subatomic particles into any desired element or molecular structure? Yes. It'll turn that into gold, uranium into water, you name it. Not bad for the first device you know to go from a cold fusion power cell. Specifically, what the Savard guys wanted, besides its power as a weapon, we don't know. Let me guess. I need to get over to SSL and stop these clowns before they make off with it, right? Exactly, Gordon. But you'll have help from me. I'll be monitoring you from Earthside via the communications link-up. Just go to communications console, the ones with flashing red lights, to reach me. We have a teleportation node right here. Much more compact than the device you are used to. So once again, gear up, and good luck. Now's your second chance, Joe. What do you say? Join me on a junk to the space station? Sorry, Gordon, but I really should stay here. Hmm. Huh. Okay. But you're working your way up to owing me a six-pack, then. Yeah. Look, just make sure you get that qualms device, okay? Why are you so concerned? Do you know something about it that I don't? No. I'm just being paranoid, I guess. Good luck. I'll see you when you get back. Sorry, Gordon. Maybe next time. You'd better hurry. Time's a wastin'. I came all this way to do repair work. Use the space elevator to reach the planet's surface. It's a high speed lift that will get you down and back in no time. Oh, and Lucas says be alert. The planet is rich in hostile life forms as well as the crystals. I'll watch my back. Anything else? One last item. The Swartz guys' troopers may have run into the newest specimens being studied at the SSL, like the Chungtoad.
If any have gotten loose, you may need to use the anti-venom protection in your suit to ward off their neurotoxin. Great. Tellurium fluoride crystals and poisonous toads. This trip is starting to sound like my last vacation. Gordon out.
crystal to a teleportation generator on the lower level of the station.
Great work, Gordon. You kept the Quam's device away from the Savard guys, and while you were away, we've discovered what the troopers were doing with this own material. Go ahead, Ethan. Black Mesa's perimeter defenses are impervious to ground and air attack, especially one of this magnitude. These defenses were not compromised by direct attack. Okay, then. So how did they get inside? By circumventing the whole system. Small strike teams teleported into strategic areas within Black Mesa. Once inside, they enacted a superbly organized schedule. Security systems were disabled, the transportation system commanded, personnel sequestered, etc. Teleported? How did they pull that off? The Shabad guys must have built their own dimensional phase transport system. That's the only explanation that fits. All they really needed was a tellurium fluoride crystal. Which is small enough to smuggle out. The troopers knew that once they invaded Black Mesa, the odds of removing anything from the compound via conventional transportation were slim, due to the aforementioned perimeter defences which would be alerted and pointed inward by that time. Did they use their transport device to escape? No, they used ours. All of their troopers who survived the attack eventually ended up in the Lander Lab, including a truckload of renewal xenomorph specimens that was driven a short distance from Sector E. It depends that their device is one way only, at least at present. They had to rely on the teleport machine in the Lambda Lab to return themselves and their stolen cargo to their intended destination. I've managed to triangulate their destination from the residual energy signatures. All items and personnel were sent here, a small island off the coast of Norway. Norway? The Schwarzkeis home base? Almost certainly. They've reviewed old satellite reconnaissance photos. But nothing stands out. More than likely, they are hidden as a North Sea oil supply base, with underground facilities. Fine. Let the armed forces take it from here. They've got the firepower to handle their puny mercenary forces. Agreed. We've done all we can from this point. Except for the Quam's device. We must destroy this working sample to prevent it from being misused. I'm afraid I can't allow that to happen, Lucas. The Quam's device is needed elsewhere. What did you say? What do you mean, elsewhere? Sorry guys, just following orders. <sighs> what the hell just happened here? Joey's part of their group too? Apparently the Shabbat guys influence. Penetrated further than we understood. This is wrecked. He could have let Newell kill me. Why wait till now to betray us all? You'll get your chance to find out, Gordon. He definitely transported himself and the Quam's device to the island location. We must get that Quam's device back. It cannot remain with the survive guys, nor can our military have it. Time for another trip, huh? Okay, I'll get my gear. Ethan, is there a relatively isolated area of the island to send me to? It would be best if I didn't make a grand entrance. Even you have to send me on a one-way transmission. Yes, Gordon. The eastern side of the island has a small residential community. Probably for the civilian population. I can drop you in there. Great. That will at least preserve the element of surprise. If this truly is a Shabbat guy's base, Gordon, we will be in for an exceedingly difficult time. We know as they have purchased surplus military hardware from the Soviets. Expect to encounter heavy resistance. Sounds just like another day at the office anymore. Time to go. Good luck, Gordon.
material acquired. Squad! Bastard!
decide to lose your soul.
resisted, Gordon. Those shields can withstand any attack from your weapons. Besides, you may be very interested in what I have to tell you. So it's you, Blackstone. You weren't killed by Dr. Newell's goons, after all. I should have known you were behind this Schwarzgeist organization. The similarity in the name is now all too obvious. Your confusion is to be expected, Gordon, so allow me to explain. Let's start with the Schwarzgeist itself. As you have seen, we have an enormous scientific interest in the discoveries from the Zen universe. While the majority of Black Mesa was busy creating a resonance cascade failure, key researchers under my direction were working on the real treasure from Zen, decoding the genetic sequences of its life form. You mean researchers like Dr. Newell? If that's who you represent, then you're all insane. Newell was a brilliant man. It's unfortunate. His personal hatred of you got in the way of his work. It was his breakthroughs that made realizing our ultimate goal a reality. Ultimate goal? You mean the union of humans in DNA into a common life form to make some sort of perverted creature? Newell's creations were just a step in the process, as was the development of viable adult human clones. Human clones, huh? Then I guess that explains how you're still here. I guess it was one of your copies that was killed by Newell's troopers then. Precisely, Gordon. It has also permitted us to quickly build an army of ruthless soldiers to invade Black Mesa, as well as replicate one particular trusted individual who so skillfully retrieved the Quam's device for us. As you can see, Gordon, we have mastered genetic replication, and now that we have possession of the Quam's device, we will use it to achieve our ultimate purpose, Overwitch. Superman, another form of Zine human monster? Not monsters, Gordon. I'm talking about a supreme existence for ourselves, to give human evolution an enormous leap forward, after all these thousands of years of stagnation, to transform ourselves beyond our species, we will rebuild our physical bodies with the best traits of Homo sapiens and Zen species. Our superior intelligence we will keep, adding the enhanced strength, telepathy, extended lifespan, and telekinetic powers selected from the Zen species. Who is this we you keep referring to? We are the Titans from the world's pharmaceutical and bioengineering companies. Others are the true power behind government institutions. Those who are now about to become the future of humanity. About to become a bunch of mutant half-breeds is what you mean. Well, now that you've shared your secret plans, is there an elaborate death you have in store for me? Come on, we both know that's a classic setup for the good guy to get away. Really, Gordon, you've seen too many James Bond movies. I really don't care if you live or die. Your life will be irrelevant within the hour. These clones are instructed to attack only if you attempt to leave this area. You know that I'll do more than just attempt to leave. Suit yourself, Gordon. Like I said, it's futile to resist. But I must go now. My associates and I have the future of our species for us. Goodbye, Gordon Freeman. You know, you sons of bitches may walk, talk, and act like me, but you're not quite me. Sorry about all that, Gordon. Those goon troopers knocked me out when they grabbed you and Walter, then stuck me in Albert's office. Once I came to, I hauled ass over to the octagon and had Ethan send me over right away. Lucky for us, no one here could tell us apart from all those cops. 
come on, let's go. Those morph creatures are destroying the place. If we hurry, we can still get the morph device back before Blackstone finishes his transformation. Guess that Vincent Blackstone was not only still alive, but the mastermind behind the whole scene. And even Newell, at least what was left of him, played a critical role in the end. Hmm. Yes. Two megalomaniacs, caught up such a fight for power and superiority, which ultimately accumulated in a mutual destruction. Such a bizarre tragedy. Now that this is over, it would be a good time to get back to legitimate research on the Zen universe. Quite right. We have vast opportunities for investigation we need to explore. 
I, for one, cannot wait to run the tunnel and lattice calculations on that subspace field generated by the- Oh, enough already. Save it for tomorrow. Right now, I need a beer. Who's gonna join me? Ah, I think we all do, so. It's the best round is on me. Well, all right then. Let's go. I'm still wondering about you, Jake. How do we know you are the real you? If you follow me. No problem, Ethan. We'll see how he acts after he's third. If you did it from last time, I'll show you myself. Oh, ha ha, Gordon. Very funny. I would remind you that she decided not to press charges. And I had nothing to do with that broken window. What the hell is going on with our equipment? It wasn't meant to do this in the first place. Well, do you have any idea what to do next? We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Let's try this. Oh dear! Yes, but to no avail. Since you are armed, you get a chance to lower the cables to get out. If you recall, that area is still heavily infested. If we make it through to the Artagon, that look is still like there. If anyone can help us stop these criminals, it is me. Okay, let's go. I'll take point in the signals behind, if you hear anything. Oh, for crying out loud! We've done this scene 12 times a day already, and I not even listen to it anymore. Why can't these stupid doors open on you just once when you finish this dick? I only have a small part of the damn Stand game anyway, by and I want to finish it and go home. Perhaps you could finish the bag for information. Each of them have been piecing together to chain a reason. From here, since shortly after these are bad news the data. Smart guys, is that who these soldiers are? No, they appear to be no more than just mercenaries. Hi, my son. Ethan, are you okay? I've fallen. I can't get off. Oh, that's it funny, Ethan. That's it funny indeed. I suppose you find this funny too. Damn right. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Later. Go ahead and enter the code, Gordon. It's all set up and waiting for you. Yep, the last train time is going to pay off today.
Gordon. Hey, catch me later, I'll buy you a beer. <laughs> 